Hi, welcome to the Microsoft Excel Essentials Module of the Kinetic Digital Literacy Program. Let's walk through the essential information you need to know about Microsoft Excel. This program today will give you an understanding of what Microsoft Excel is and what it's used for. We'll go through some key Excel terminology, the key components of Excel, and how to navigate Excel. We'll look at opening and retrieving files, and then we'll look at some of the Excel competitors. What is Microsoft Excel? Excel is an electronic spreadsheet program from Microsoft and part of their Microsoft Office product group for business applications. We use an electronic spreadsheet like Microsoft Excel when we need to work with numbers. It lets us format, organize, and calculate data, numbers. Excel lets us make information easier to view and it can automatically update formulas and calculations as data is added or changed. Excel is made up of cells that are aligned into columns and rows. We put information and calculations into these cells. Let's look at some common Excel use cases. Excel is most commonly used in business settings, but is also very helpful for household budgeting, calendars, scheduling, and other items that require calculations. Excel uses these cells to organize and manipulate data and to solve mathematical functions. Users can arrange data in the spreadsheet using charts, formulas, and other tools. Organizations use Microsoft Excel to collect and verify business data for business analysis, for data entry and storage, for data analysis, for performance reporting, for strategic analysis, for accounting and budgeting, for project management, and other office administration. Let's walk through some of the common language of Excel. We're going to go through some key words that you will need to understand and remember. Pay close attention as we walk through them and to where they are in the Excel spreadsheet. This will help you as you begin to navigate through the world of Excel. The ribbon. The ribbon is a set of toolbars at the top of the window in Office programs designed to help you quickly find the commands that you need to complete a task. The quick access toolbar is a small, customizable toolbar at the top of the Office application window that contains a set of frequently used commands. These commands can be accessed from almost any part of the application independent of the ribbon tab that is currently open. This quick access toolbar can be placed below the ribbon or above the ribbon. Cell. A user enters data into a cell. The cell is an intersection of a column and a row. Cell reference. This is the set of coordinates where a cell is located. Rows are horizontal and numbered. Columns are vertical and assigned a letter. Active cell. This is the currently selected cell outlined by a green box. Workbook. This is an Excel file that contains one or more worksheets. Worksheets are the different documents nested within a workbook. The worksheet tab tells you which different documents are nested within this and which one you're currently working on. Column and row headings. These are the numbered and lettered cells located just outside of the columns and rows. Selecting a header highlights the entire row or column. Formulas are mathematical equations, cell references or functions that can be placed inside a cell to produce a value. Formula must start with an equal sign. Let's look at the formula in our workbook in the formula bar. The formula bar is the long input bar that is used to enter values or formulas into cells. In the example of this check register, the formula we're showing says equals F3 minus D4 plus E4. But let's break that down and see what it is in simple terms. What this means is that it will subtract what's in the cell address at D4, that is row 4, column D, from what's already in F3, and then add what's in E4 to that. 
So what it's saying simply is, I want you to look at what's in the cell right above this, F3, that's the previous balance, and then I want you to subtract anything in column D that we just subtracted, wrote a check for, and then add in anything in column E that we made a deposit for. Then give me a new balance. And we do that by F3 minus D4 plus E4. Let's just walk through this again really quickly. This is one of the key fundamental functions of Excel. We can see that D4 is our active cell. We can see that in the address bar, and we can see the green box around this cell. So what it's going to do is it's going to take what's in F3, which is 42677, and subtract whatever is in D4, which is 3727, and then it's going to add whatever is in E4, which is in this case is 0. That will give a final answer then of 389.50 once it does that math. So it's very good at that. This is what it does. Excel has some very simple mathematical calculations built in, as well as some very complex mathematical and scientific formulas. For specific help on individual formula requirements or some of the more complex functions of Excel, you should do a Google search. There's a tremendous information on the internet for how to use Microsoft Excel. For more details on doing internet searches, see our module, Internet Search Essentials. You can also filter items inside of an Excel sheet. You turn filters on in the ribbon, and then you can use this drop-down box to highlight or find different items like, let me just see all the ones that are groceries, so that you can see how much money you spent in different areas. Let's talk about opening a file now. You need to open a file in order to get at it and be able to do calculations on it. To open existing files, click File, and then you have a few choices to open an existing file. You'll see your most recent files listed here by order of when they were saved. If you don't see the file you're looking for, click Open, and then you'll get a few more options. First, you'll see any worksheets that you pinned. Then you'll see a whole list of your files in order of most recent to least recent. You can scroll through to find what you want. If you still don't see it, click Browse, and that will open up File Explorer window so you can navigate to find that file. You can also put something in the search bar to help you locate it. Note that this is also where you would create a new file. If you create a file, you'll see new here. If you're working on a file and you want to save it, again, you'll start with clicking File. And then you'll either use Save or Save As, depending on whether this is a file that you have saved before or whether you're just saving it and updating it or whether you're saving it as a new file. Put in the file name and the location to be saved, or normal is the Documents folder, and then click Save. Excel saves files with an XLSX extension by default. There are a few competitors to Excel, namely Google Sheets and Apple Numbers. Google Sheets is a free competitor to Excel with similar layouts and features. Users with a Gmail account can access Google Sheets. Google Sheets are saved in the cloud, meaning users can access their spreadsheets from anywhere and on numerous devices. Multiple users can also collaborate on the same spreadsheet. Numbers. Apple's spreadsheet programs comes free with every Mac and provides pre-built templates, charts, and graphs. Numbers excels at graphics and charts, but it does not handle large data sets as well as Microsoft Excel. Numbers is also exclusive for Apple's devices, but it does enable users to save spreadsheets as Excel files, so a Windows user can still open a Numbers spreadsheet in Excel. That concludes this module. I hope you're able to take something away from this that you can use. We will have additional Microsoft Excel trainings available in the near future that will help you go further with it.